Well, everyone, I wanted to go ahead and break down some of my favorite budget gaming iPhones that are relatively, you know, newer. They're not super expensive and you can, you know, pretty much get them and they're not really that hard to get and they can give you some decent performance for your iPhone. Now, I will say the cheapest one, I would say, you know, that's kind of in the realm around a hundred and something dollars is the iPhone 8. It's definitely not the best designed one and it's definitely not the first one I would recommend buying. But from what I've done and some of the performance I've given it, it's actually a pretty decent performing gaming phone. You know, it has the same internals almost as the iPhone 10. It doesn't have the gesture based design or anything, but because it is older and because it's gone down in value so much, this is probably one of those iPhones I'd recommend looking at if you're on an extreme budget. It's probably one of those ones up there for sure in my opinion. Now the iPhone 10 is the next one. It's very, it's so much better than the iPhone 8, but it is one of those iPhones you can probably pick up that isn't that much more expensive and it's one of the options you have too. Now I will say now we're getting into some of the better options. The iPhone XR from all the performance from all the games that I played on it this has been a solid performing phone and I've been so happy with the performance I've been getting from something like the iPhone XR. Again this is probably the best one when it comes down to price tag and the value per dollar. I've gotten great performance, I've gotten great just, you know, fluidity from this device and playing games like Genshin Impact, PUBG, even Fortnite now when you're streaming it through the Microsoft Xbox servers, I've had a great time with it and I'm super happy with the performance I've been getting from that phone as well. The iPhone 11 is also another phone that I've been seeing that you can still buy brand new and that has also been a very solid performing device as well. Again, not perfect, I've had a few issues here and a few hiccups here and there, but it's been the best one so far out of all the phones I've been talking about. And this is probably where the budget starts kind of slipping away. You know, you can buy an iPhone 11 for $499 brand new. You can buy an iPhone XR for about $250 on the high end. You can buy an iPhone 10 for about $200 to about $250. You can buy an iPhone 8 from around $120 to about $150, maybe $175. So you have a few different price ranges there. Obviously, the higher you go, the better performance. But that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.